in the last video we have seen uh, we have just done the prediction that is we already train our two model that is logistic regression and we also train for the decision tree and we already saw that the decision tree algorithm classifier we are getting a better accuracy than of the logistic regression so now we are going to go with this particular uh, going for the random forest classifier and now with the help of random forest algorithm we are going we will able to see whether the, we are getting a better accuracy than of decision tree or the uh, logistic regression okay so we can start with the random forest random forest classifiers okay so random forest forest classifier now again we have to import this library and we can import this library from the sql learn from sql learn that is sql learn sklearn dot basically from ensemble we have to just import from ensemble don't you don't have to mug up this from where we are going to import and this all thing once we are going to do practice we are going to do for so many projects you are going to do practice then you are able to understand from where we are going to import the random forest or decision tree or whatever we are going to import this thing okay import random uh, that is random forest classifier random forest classifier this one okay this is basically we have imported from the sql learn the next step is basically again it is the same step if you have just gone through in the previous video we have to just create the object of this particular random forest i'm just writing here a random forest for now i can just write here and we are just creating the object of the random forest random forest classifier okay and here what i have just to what i have to pass here so now we already see that again you can just pass as it is you don't have to pass any parameter but yeah if, if you want to pass some parameter like if you want to just change default argument uh, like there is already they are the default argument you don't have anything the required argument so required argument default argument i hope so you understand that one so default argument means already you have some value inside that if you want to change that default argument into required what you want to require for that particular uh, parameter then you can just go for it. so here i can just write here how an estimator or minimum sampling or random or state what you want i'm just keeping the same as it is i'm, I'm not going to pass anything for now I'm just creating the object of the random forest classifier and I'm just keeping as it is whatever the value they have just given by default. So this is really a basic thing we are going to start. So once we are just going to run this particular uh, algorithm that is basically once we are just going to make the object of this random forest classifier. So next step, next step is basically we are just creating our model. Okay, We are just creating the model creating model basically object. So now we are just creating uh, all sorry we already created the model object. So now we are just training the that particular model okay so we are just going to train this particular model and again for the training also you can just remember from the last two video training model of random forest so what we are just writing here model that is underscore rf then from that rf i am going to just call one method that is basically called a fit method fit method is always used for the training of that particular method uh, that is for the particular algorithm so in that fit we can how what we can just pass here x underscore train comma y underscore train i can just pass these two parameter and just let it run this one so what we are getting see the model is going to be trained it takes some time in the random voice now but the finally the model has been trained okay now the next task is basically we are going to for the making the prediction part okay so making the prediction part what we are going to what we are going to write here we are going to see what the model has been predicted for this particular random forest by using the model of the random forest so we can just write here model underscore rf dot particular predict okay we can just pass here predict and then after we can just pass x underscore test come uh, that, that's it we can just pass x underscore test now let's run now if you want to see the accuracy of your particular accuracy score of this particular you can just write here rf that is rf a random forest and i can just write a call the accuracy uh, that is a function we already library we already imported from the sql learn and here we have to just pass the y that is actual that is y test comma what the model has been predicted for the random forest and then after i can if you are going to oh, so what's going there okay and now what i'm what i can just write here accuracy if you are going to know about in terms of percentage you can just do in 200 what's up you can just keep 200 actually it's up to you okay so predict i have done something mistake like predict df i'm just writing this like rf not df sorry for that okay 
you are getting something 67 percent of accuracy in this we are getting a something 62 i can just multiply everything by 100 so it will be really easy for you uh, i am i am just getting 62 percent and in this i am just getting a into 100 i am just doing so the uh, so log logistic regression has given me uh, given us the accuracy of 61 percent decision tree is giving the accuracy of 62 percent but we are getting really a good accuracy in the random forest and that random forest giving our accuracy of aperox 67 percent of accuracy now again you could not say that random forest is always giving a better accuracy than of the decision tree or the logistic regression it depends upon the data set which data set on which algorithm is better suited for that particular data set okay so this is how, what we we are going through the this particular that is a random forest and random forest we are able to see that we are getting something 67.98 uh, accuracy even you can create a uh, that is confusion matrix that's really easy you can just pass uh, that is a confusion matrix so if you want to create that confusion matrix you can just simply write here cmt that is confusion matrix for this particular total number of model we have done the third okay and then after i'm just writing a matrix and here you you have to just pass a y underscore, y underscore test and then after what the model has been predicted that is a r that's it let's run this one you will able to see the particular or uh, that is a confusion matrix i have written something in invalidation text so it will be like confusion matrix this and then after this and let's run this one so here 351 total number of data is basically correct classified for the zero and 53 has been wrong classified and total one for one that is a water prediction that is 157 and total un classify 95 as a wrong okay so this was uh, all about the random forest classifier so in this next next video we are going to see about the knn that is a k nearest neighbor and that is that is really interesting algorithm that we call as the slowest algorithm so we will discuss that thing in the next video thank you